If you've ever done any extensive creative projects in Photoshop, you know that there are certain steps that you tend to take over and over again. Repeating these steps can be a very tedious and time-consuming process. But what if you could train Photoshop to do these steps for you? Well, you can. It's called Actions, and it's one of the greatest time-saving features in the entire program. Actions are essentially a way of recording what you do in Photoshop and then automating those steps and playing them back at the press of a button. I'm Kirk Nelson with Tuts Plus, and I'm here to show you everything you need to know about building your own actions in Photoshop. Actions are a great resource to have in Photoshop. In fact, actions for complex and creative effects are some of the best selling resources on the market. Once you finish this course, you will know how to create these actions for yourself. We start with the very basics of recording actions. We'll take a look at the actions panel, discuss what types of Photoshop features can and cannot be used in actions. And then we dig into some of the more advanced techniques, like conditional statements and what to do when a particular tool or feature doesn't record. Actions don't have to be a series of short, simple, and redundant steps. They can be used to craft some very complex and creative effects. And that's where we'll spend the last portion of this course, creating this intricate stardust effect that is completely automated. We go all the way through from planning and recording the action to testing it and cleaning up the action file. This course is intended for intermediate users of Photoshop. I'm expecting that you already know how to use the program and are familiar with the interface. So let's get started with the next chapter where we take a closer look at the basics of creating actions.